in this video what we are going to discuss about uh, is uh, rest api so the introduction and all you can see in another video so basically i am trying to show you how we are going to implement a rest api there are multiple ways uh, we can use jersey and we can use spring boot also so in this tutorial we are going to uh, try with the jersey version and spring boot we can write in another video okay so before going to implement you need to uh, have some basic idea about the following things like maven and annotations and servlets maven is basically for uh, maintaining your jar files annotation is for handling your uh, request and response because because we are using annotations for the servlet get and post methods and all okay basically this video contains what is the id you're you're going to need and other thing is how the id is going to support for jersey okay and and uh, how uh, JSC, uh, uh our uh, id is going to support for jersey okay so basically the id which we are going to use is eclipse okay let me create a small uh, basic uh, jc project okay and we'll see how it is looks like and how we are going to set up the jersey in it okay okay let me open okay so first thing is just create a new project but here it's not a java project create as a maven project okay so click next so since it is showing lot of artifacts here but we are going to work on jersey okay try to fetch only jersey here we'll work with some jersey templates uh, normally if it is not showing in the drop down that means we don't have the dependencies available in our eclipse okay so what you can do is there are two ways to add the archetypes for jersey you can add a archetype uh archetype in okay cancel this it's better go to windows and preference and here select maven under maven we have archetypes so here we have to add the catalog for jersey support there are two ways the first one is local catalog that means you can have the xml file in your local and you can load it or if you have the url you can add as a remote catalog okay if you want to add a remote catalog you need to have a url okay so which is nothing but this is the url you can add it but when you are adding the url it will be a bit slower because it has to fetch the data from the internet so since i'm going to use the local records so i'm going to use a local catalog so I already loaded, uh, uh, downloaded the Excel, uh, the XML file in my local system. I'm going to browse it now. So I kept it here. Uh, I can type uh, catalog.xml, and you need to provide a name for that. Uh, I'm gonna okay. What to say? Okay, Jersey catalog. Okay, and click okay, and apply and close, and try to create a project now to other and create a maven project here and go to next now you can choose which uh jersey catalog now you can type jersey see see we have multiple options available since we are going to uh create a small uh small web app i'm going to use the startup web app so you can yeah you can choose uh jersey quick start web application okay click next and since it's a maven project you need to provide the group id and the artifact id so my group id is uh, com dot guide me com dot guide me and my artifact id is going to be what would you have a rest api demo <coughs> rest api demo okay click finish your form file already existing in the file on the destination okay what is she saying okay since i have same kind of folder here i mean uh, i have another project that name called uh, rest api demo okay let's create another name so demo rest api okay click finish now so it's take a while to create a project because it has to download the dependencies from the internet so just uh, give it a minute see our project is downloaded here here we have an another issue because when the pom file downloaded uh, uh, sorry i mean to say the project is downloaded you are getting some exceptions here so it's in, since it's a web application you need to target your webs uh, your target server so 
I have my Tomcat 7.0 in my local. Okay, I don't have it. Okay, let me add one. Or else you can directly add it from here. I'm going to go to project properties. Go to project properties, and here search for target. Okay, target and times here I have a Apache Tomcat. You can choose it and apply and close. So my target application is going to be. Uh, Apache 7.0 but you have to add the server here to run your application see so once the uh, server is added it there will be gone so now the thing is we have to add the server here so I'm going to add Tomcat 7.0 next and demo rest API okay finish okay so let's take a look how the project looks like this is my palm file which contains all the jar dependencies and all okay Oracle Apache Maven and Glassfish and servlet supportivity and JS versions okay this looks pretty much simple let's go to the source file uh, Java resources okay and let's see see here it's a sample file so let's open and see what this looks like because uh, this is a resource uh, that belongs to uh, this particular application so whenever someone is calling our API they have to call this particular resource like my resources okay so why it is used here there is a method called get it and the returns hi there so how it is called it's just a normal Java file okay so the thing is when you go to the source here and that source you can see the web application this is looks like a servlet servlet uh, folder structure so under the web app you can see some file called index.jsp see here here I'm calling my resources which is nothing but this one basically this is this resource and this index.jsp file basically added for test the sample application okay let's go ahead and try simple uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to add anything here new so let's try to execute the existing application and how it is working okay so let me try to run this run as server okay okay so it's gonna take a while just gonna okay okay so I need to start my server first let me start it uh, multiple errors okay what is happening here okay so I think I have some issue with the server okay let's try to delete and create one more time 7.0 next demonstrate API finish let me try to start it now yeah now okay the server is started so let me try to run this file run as run on server okay this is my target server and finish let's see okay it's a server okay okay good see the page is opened okay so this is the uh, local host index page so when you click this uh, uh, jersey resource it has to call your my resource which is nothing but it has to say hi there okay uh, uh, let me try to click this what is happening here why oh, it is throwing one for error for okay the reason is okay I think some other files not compile properly let me build it one more time build project okay build is done okay let me try this again see hi there see initially the error was coming because of I didn't build it properly okay. so the another there are other few things which we need to monitor here okay if you see here web resources because I know this is my uh, resource name so I can directly use it here 
but it won't work the reason is we have a url pattern which is specified in the web.xml so whenever you are using some url it has to comes with this web resources so what you can do is you can call directly or call something like this also so just make sure if something is not working in case the url is not working if it's not matching just make sure go and check web.xml whether is there any url pattern mapping is configured okay so this is a uh, just a simple application which uh, uh, how to create a, a jersey okay with a jersey support so the next video will go we'll try to create our own resources and to and see how we are going to access it